Hello brothers and sisters. Today is another great, great day. I thank God for this day. And uh, today I'm continuing with the series of uh, promises of God. And uh, we are in the promise number five. We have the promise number five, which uh, God has promised us something. He has promised us intimacy with him. Now, when I talk about intimacy with him, is that closeness that you feel at some point. You see, there are so many people who feel... Uh, I'm really away from God. Does he still love me? Is he still there with me? Um, does he still love me anymore or what's happening? So God has promised us intimacy with him, but he has given us a condition of how we are supposed to claim that intimacy. Okay. Now the Bible tells us about this in the book of James, James um, 4, 8. James 4, 8 says, Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. So the Bible tells us, draw nigh unto God, or draw near unto God, and he will draw near unto you. Now, have you ever realized there are some times when uh, you really feel, I want to be so close to God, but situations and things are, is like they're moving me away. My mistakes and things that I've done is like they're making me feel I'm so far and it's like God can never accept me again. I've been in such situations. I sit down and I ask myself, does God really love me now? I've done this and this and this and this. I am not a good person. Uh, yesterday I lied to some people. Yesterday I was corrupt somewhere. I, I stole something. I, I did this and that. And I don't know if God is can listen to me anymore. And the devil is always very cunning. He tells you, hey, you see what you did? Now you're really away from God. You see, God will never forgive you. God will never understand you. He, will, he, he, he doesn't like you anymore. But remember what the Bible has always told us, that the mercies of God are new every day. Every morning, his mercies are new. So if his mercies are new every morning, then you expect definitely he will always be close to you if you come close to him. But if you stay away, because there are people who mess up somewhere and then they say, no, 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 I think I'm done with God. I think he'll never listen to me again. I think it will never be the same way that I, I, I thought it could be anymore. Let me tell you, if you think it that way, then you're only yourself who is taking you away from God. Draw closer to God and he will draw closer to you. Come near him to the mercy seat. Come near him and tell him, God, this is what I'm feeling. Yesterday I did this, I did that. And let me tell you something. God has been tempted. God the Son, Jesus, has been tempted just the same way you've been tempted all through in your life. And uh, he has seen all these things. He knows your desires. He knows your weaknesses. He knows your expectations. He knows your situations, tricky situations. He knows the time that you've been caught by some police without wearing mask and they're telling you, okay, you have to give us 200 shillings or, or, or else you go, uh, you go to jail or maybe you something bad happens to you and he knows those situations and you have to give out 200 shillings to these guys, to these crooks of police. And uh, you tell God, now, see, see, I don't know. I've done it again. I, 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 I'm so bad. I've, I've, I've been, maybe I've given, I've been corrupt yesterday. I've been corrupt today. I've, in this situation, this world, God, you see how things are like, you see? He understands everything and every situation in the world, how it is. And he tells you one thing, draw closer to him and he draw closer to you. There's one thing that I always do whenever I'm faced in situations. I always sit down and tell God, God, right now, you understand where I'm going. You know I am going to do maybe something which I'm, I'm sure it may not even make you happy. God, please give me a way to escape. Give me a plan to escape. Give me a better idea to do. I don't know. This is the only plan that I have here on my table right now. And I'm heading to do something quite evil, something quite bad. I'm going to meet some people who maybe will uh, make me engage in some fishy deals or some fishy things. And Lord, you understand. You know me and you know me very well. Please help me. Give me an escape plan. I want to wonder, to know another way of how I can do things. Trust you me when you tell God these things. 
he's going to listen to you. Because he says, whatever you ask, he shall give it unto you. As long as you ask in faith and you ask with a clean heart. You see, there are people who just tell God, oh God, you see this and that, but they don't mean what they say. For me, I like one thing. Tell God, is, is your father. Tell him, this is what I'm going to do. I have no option right now. This is the only thing I can think about. I have, I'm, I'm confused in this situation. Please give me a way to escape. And he shall give you a way to escape. And you shall feel drawing closer to him back again. It is very simple to get close to God. And he tells you very well in this verse. Draw nigh unto him and he will draw nigh unto you. When you go away from him, you will feel his presence is very far. But when you come closer to him, his presence will always be near. You'll always feel him being close. Cleanse your hands. How do you cleanse your hands? By trying to do things in the spirit and not things in the flesh. I talked about that last time. That you need to do things in the spirit and not things in the flesh. When you continue doing fleshly things, your hands continue being dirty. And you keep on feeling as if God has gone away from you. No, he's not gone away from you. You're making yourself dirty and dirty and dirty. And the mud is surrounding you and things are really bad in your side. You only need to come to the mercy seat and tell God, please understand me again. Walk with me again. Help me in this. And he shall listen unto you. All right. So he says, clean your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts. Okay. You double-minded. There are people who are always double-minded. All the time they are double-minded. I want to do this. I want to do that. I don't know if I should do this. I should do that. Today I'm with God. Tomorrow I'm not with God. Today I'm closer to him. Tomorrow I'm not closer to him. He tells you, don't be double-minded. You're a child of God. And you will never cease from being a child of God. He tells you, do whatever you can. Walk in the Spirit. Understand that you've been bought with a price and nothing will ever separate you from the love of Christ. So brothers and sisters, there's only one thing that I, can, I always tell people. There's only one way that you can be close to God, by believing the gospel. If you believe the gospel and you walk in the spirit, he's going to be with you. Believe in the gospel. What is the gospel? The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And it says, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which you received and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. When you believe how Christ died for your sins, when you believe and you receive that atonement, then you have everlasting life. We are told the only way we can be saved is by believing the gospel. The gospel was revealed to the Apostle Paul. And he told us, and he said that this gospel is not something that I came up with. Go and read Galatians 1 from verse 11, 12. It, he explains, he said, it's not something that I planned. It's not something that I came with myself or I thought about. It, it was a revelation which was given to me by Jesus Christ. And unless you believe in this gospel, then you will be judged. In the book of Romans 1, uh, 16, the Apostle Paul says, In the day when God shall judge every man according to my gospel. One day, God is going to judge the whole world according to the gospel of Paul. Paul is our apostle. And the message of salvation today has been given to him. And we have to understand what he wrote in this Bible. The epistles of Paul, unless you believe that, in the church age, then you're believing another gospel. He says very well in Galatians 1, verses 8, Even if we or another person comes over, even if somebody else comes over and says another gospel, he, he explains another gospel, please don't believe him. Even if he's an angel from heaven, don't believe him. Believe the true gospel. The true gospel of death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And you shall be saved. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Thank you. Have a blessed time. I'll be going uh, on with the series. I have um, about uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four more uh, uh, promises that God has given us. Just keep on watching, and I believe that God is going to bless you more.